Hey my beautiful Cancer peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Ant from Cancer Moon's Tarot and welcome into your October 2023 tarot reading with me. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Do want to mention as always before we start, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can check out my website CancerMoonsTarot.com. It's going to be the first link in the description below if you are interested. But Team Cancer, let's go ahead and get it popping and see what's going on for you guys coming on up here into October 2023. So what's going to be in store here please for the Zodiac Sign of Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout October 2023. What do we got showing up here, please, for our lovely Cancer gang? Let's go ahead and check it out, y'all. Let's see what's going on here for the Crab gang. Starting out here with the overall energy for you, we do have here the Five of Cups. So you could be connecting here possibly with a water sign like a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Taking a look here into the current energy, King of Swords, what it is you're dealing with here, Ace of Pentacles, and looking at the current outcome, we do have here a King of Cups in the upright position here as well for Team Cancer. Now, Five of Cups showing up here for you can be a card here that represents great disappointment, it can represent grief, it can also just represent like the processing of grief, right? So it's kind of like, okay... I've gone through so much and I've gone through a lot, but I'm starting to let it out, which is healthy, right? Because I tell people all the time, if you want to be able to heal, you got to feel, you know? So I think that cancer coming up here into the month of October could start out a little bit emotional. It's not going to be an entirely emotional month for you. I don't feel it. I don't feel it in that retrospect, uh, but it's going to start out a bit emotional for you. But it's purging, it's cleansing, it's releasing, it's letting out all those pent up feelings and emotions that I think you've had. And I feel like I'm hearing the silver lining because looking at right behind these three of cups that have been fallen over and spilt over, there's these two cups that are still left standing. And as you can see, they're in the sunshine in this beautiful window that we see. So I'm getting that vibe here of like, there's the silver lining, two of cups. There is more here, Cancer, for you to connect with. There are indeed better days ahead. So you're at that point where I think that a massive moment of release is coming in this month and you're starting to get very serious i'm hearing getting back to business as usual uh, but also bossing up here with the king of swords you know king of swords here is a card that represents that you're going to start taking things very seriously this is the energy of discipline this is the energy of staying on top of your a-game cancer and looking at what you're dealing with here ace of pentacles definitely a pretty big opportunity coming up here for you guys this month i want to go ahead and clarify what this opportunity means so let's go ahead and go uh, let's go ahead and get on into that cancer and see so what is this opportunity here with the ace of pentacles for team cancerian we have here the sun hello an opportunity here to bring back the happiness into your life so cancer i think this month's going to be a great month for release a great month for letting go but also just getting back on your a game and bringing back positivity and happiness and good vibes into your life so when i said there's a silver lining yeah i most certainly feel there is one for you coming up at this time you know taking a look here at the current outcome king of cups king of cups here represents that you're in a good place emotionally you feel incredibly balanced on an emotional level this is the energy of you feeling like okay i got things under control i feel good now you know so i do see a ma like a massive purging session cancer but then after that purging happens it's like it's time to get serious it's time to work to get back to the good vibes the positive times and to stay on the right track cool so we're starting off here pretty damn strong. Um, is there any information or insight on what kind of uh, grief Cancer might be letting go of here at this time? Any kind of examples of what might be going on here for them? We got here the Seven of Pence, uh, Ten of Cups here, and we also have here the Seven of Cups here as well. Yeah, I mean, for some Cancers, what you can be letting go of at this time can be connections that have been relatively confusing with people you've dealt with. Let's say you were dealing with somebody romantically, they could have been very confusing on how they felt about you or where they wanted things to go with you to the point where maybe you felt like your time was wasted. So for some cancers, you can be releasing somebody on an emotional level here this month. It might be somebody that you never actually got into a commitment with, but you were searching for that and maybe that the signals were way too mixed for you and it just became a whole kind of storm you didn't want to get involved in. So as disappointed as you might have been, it's like, it's probably better for me to be single. For other groups of cancers, if there has been any sort of financial situation going on for you any sort of financial confusion or maybe it kind of feels like it was one thing after the other that kind of hit you a little bit hard financially and put you in a little bit of a rough spot this month you definitely uh, you definitely here can start purging that out releasing that and getting back on track here towards your financial goals with the seven of pentacles coming out here for you as well so whether you're releasing a person releasing stuff that's happened to you financially that's been burdensome whether or not you've been dealing with situations where you have been trying to protect your energy because 
it's been feeling like it's one thing after another with certain people with problems with issues you know you're really pulling yourself through here this month uh, to be back on track here to really raise your vibration with the ten of cups all right so those are some of the examples of what i'm seeing of course if that resonates cool if not no worries yeah for some reason my guides are really like zeroing in on one thing after another uh so cancer if you've experienced that energy where you just felt like you were getting slammed with one thing after another one problem after another whether it was within your relationship sector financially whether it was just personal issues things just not going to your favor kind of just felt like a mercury retrograde cancer <laughs> you know if you were dealing with that kind of energy um i do see that coming to an ending here which is beautiful and i think you're going to be very thankful about that and i think that it's going to be nice to start feeling like you're reaching the calm again as you are moving away from a storm okay all right cancers let's keep it moving let's see what's going to show up here in your potential challenge for this month so what's showing up here in cancer's potential challenge for the month here of october 2023 First card, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, it's going to be a little challenging here for you guys to get everything together, but I think that you guys are going to do a good job with it. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of confidence, of feeling like you are confident in being able to transform, transcend, and change your situation for the better. You know, I think that you're going to have moments when the Five of Cups comes and you get a little bit let down and a little bit disappointed, but like I said, Cancers, I think you're really going to rise up this month and move towards back or move back towards a lot of positive energies here with the sun card so even with the nine of pentacles showing up here showing up as a challenge you're it's going to be a challenge that you're going to take you know it's going to be a challenge you're going to be up for i think that uh, no matter how tough things have been you will pull yourself together to bring back your confidence and to stand very tall on your two feet okay so i don't feel like this is the energy of sinking it's the energy of swimming cancer you know it's sink or swim but you're going to swim here at this time now what can cancerians expect please throughout the rest i like this by the way the chariots at the bottom of the deck which is letting me know and confirming that cancers are keeping it pop and pushing and moving forward okay regardless though guys let's take a look here and get some insight into what you can expect throughout the rest of october 2023 uh so what can team cancer expect here throughout the rest of october 2023 cancer sun moon rising venus let's go ahead and take a look we had a jumper card and that's going to be the nine of cups hello self-fulfillment uh we also got here a tower moving on forward from that we have here the devil sweet we have here the eight of cups sweet and we also have here the four of swords wow all those cards are just lining up to say the same exact thing so that's just extra extra confirmation cancer uh you're going to be feeling a lot more fulfilled here right off the bat in terms of what you can expect you'll be feeling a lot more fulfilled because you are breaking away here tower card the devil you are walking away here from negativity and things that have been keeping you stuck and trapped in negativity if you have been feeling like you've been drowning in finances here comes your way out of that financial situation that's been tough if you feel like you have been drowning in emotions because there's been so many problems with your partner with your friends it's time to remove yourself from that energy and as you detach from it here in october you set yourself free and it's like oh i finally feel good and i think that it's nice because nine of cups is a card that's saying you don't have weight on your shoulders anymore you can actually enjoy yourself and enjoy the environment around you you know typically when we're dealing with rough environments with friends family or finances it's hard to enjoy life it's hard to enjoy that specific environment that has any sort of rough energy in it because it's rough so noting and acknowledging that easier times are coming like ease is coming in for any sort of rough situations is nice you know, I see here once again with the tower to the devil, you're separating yourself from these hard times. Eight of cups here says you're walking away from them. Four of swords says you're putting them to bed. So cancer, all that was pretty much saying the same thing. You will be walking away here from a lot of these negative situations, especially things that have made you feel like you've been trapped in negativity. Ten of wands at the bottom of the deck, the energy of burden, anything that has been burdening you seems to be vanishing here at this time. All right, what other insight do we have here for Cancer as to what they can expect throughout the rest of October 2023? We have here a Nine of Swords and we have here a Knight of Wands. You know, I think that one of the great things about this month that you can be expecting here is that you're starting to become a lot more communicative, a lot more vocal here about what is worrying you, what is bothering you, what is bringing in fear in your life. You know, I think that the Nine of Swords could be a pretty big card that represents uh, the energy of sadness, the energy of anxiety. And with the Knight of Wands, it's good to say that you're moving away from that so i feel like mentally you're building a more positive well 
uh, mental well-being this month. I think that you're also going to be in just a much better mental well-being as a whole. Uh, but this is also representing that you're moving away from things such as anxiety, things such as depression, things such as, you know, feeling a little bit lower vibrational. You know, if you've been in that space, you're going to start to see that you're getting into a better headspace here with the Knight of Wands. So I think that's something really cool to expect. But I also think that too, Cancer, you know, if you've had a hard time communicating things that have been bothering you or things that have genuinely upset you, there's going to be something happening here this month where I feel like you're being a lot more open and vulnerable uh, to where you're getting out of the crab shell and you're not afraid to say, hey, this is what's been going on with me. So I feel like you communicating uh, your own well-being to people in your environment is going to be a lot more prominent here at this time, too. Um, if you are a Cancer and people have had a hard time understanding you or a hard time understanding what's been going on with you, if you've kind of been a little bit shut down for the past few weeks or the past months and uh, you haven't really felt very open to communicate about what's been happening, I think that not only with the Five of Cups showing up being a card this month saying that you are processing grief, I think it's going to be expression of grief here, too, meaning that you'll be giving insight to people around you as to what's been happening. Um, as you're starting to get into a much better place. You know, sometimes as a Cancer, when things are a little bit dark and hard, we don't give people much of an insight as to what we're going through because we'll take on the burden on our own. We don't want to burden or bother other people. But now that you're in a bit of a better space, I think it's proning you to become more open and more vocal about what you've experienced and how things are getting better for you this month. I do want to give a word to the wise for Cancers, though. You always know that if you're in a dark space or a dark time, that's the perfect time to reach out to the people that you love and the people that love you because they can be there to aid and assist you. Never worry about burdening other people, Cancer, with your problems. As Cancers, we take on the burdens and problems of all the people we love and care for, and it is a two-way street. So don't feel afraid, Cancerian, to open up to other people. You're not going to burden them or bother them, especially if they really give a shit about you, okay? All right, moving forward. Let's get a, last, uh, a little bit of the last couple of insights here for Cancer as to what they can expect throughout the rest of this month. We have here the Knight of Cups. Hello. We also have here the High Priestess. And we have here the Page of Wands. Can't uh, I think that this can be a pretty wonderful time when it comes towards connecting with people passionately and romantically. So if you're a single Cancer, kind of looks to me like love might possibly be in the air here for you with the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups here could be the energy of you specifically courting somebody. So if you've had your eyes set on somebody here in October, I think intuitively you've kind of been getting that nudge to kind of go towards someone to talk to them, to get to know them. If you have been getting that feeling, you should act on it. I feel like something wonderful there can manifest between you and this person. King of Pentacles, be cool, calm, and collected about it. I think that actually something here could grow into something abundant and something wonderful with the King of Pence. So just throwing that out there on more of a romantic term, if you're a Cancer who's been interested in somebody, I think you should shoot your shot. Now, if it's not about love here with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands, it most certainly can just represent that you're definitely moving into a much more better energy. Uh, Cancer, I think that for some of you as well with the High Priestess here to the Page of Wands, you can start to note that you're going to be getting drawn to something different. Uh, this can be potential changes in terms of what you're being drawn to in your career, what you're being drawn to in your personal life. You might notice this month that you're gravitating towards different friends. I want to mention, Cancer, especially as you begin to open up about what you've been experiencing and tap more into your vulnerability, you may notice certain friends are becoming closer to you than maybe other people used to be. And as you're gravitating closer to these people who are really being there for you, you might start to gravitate more towards those specific people who are truly showing up for you in this time in your life. So you could see changes in who you associate with as well. Okay, interesting. All right, Cancer, let's keep it moving forward. We're going to go over your career, your love life, your personal life, then I will see, you know, the overall outcome here for your reading. So let's hop on into career first and see what's in store here for cancer so what do we got coming up here for cancer regarding their career here in october 2023 what insights do we have here for cancers in their career let's check it out first card six of pentacles following card got here a king of wands looking at the last card the ace of cups i like it cancer six of pentacles showing up here for you is the card of equal give and take it's also the card here of balance uh, so i feel like financially here things are looking pretty well balanced for you in your career space i think that when you're going to take into account your finances this month things are actually looking relatively good for you relatively balanced uh, six of pentacles here can also represent though more of a chillax 
relaxed and balanced working environment. For some Cancerians, your environment might become much more calmer or much more balanced. If it's been hectic lately, I think that in October, you're going to have a much more calm experience in your career as well. Now, King of Wands showing up for you represents that you have your eyes set on something here. Could be a goal for your career. Could be a goal to get a certain position, to make more money. Could be a goal to expand your career if you have your own personal business. And I think that by having a lot of these healthy goals that you've been setting, Cancer, not only are you going to be noticing that you're on track here to be achieving these specific goals, uh, but having these healthy goals is creating a lot of drive and motivation for you with the King of Wands. I get the sense here, Cancer, that a lot of motivation is going to come in for you guys at this time for your career coming into October 2023. And that starts to bring in a lot more fulfillment for you as well. It feels good to work towards something, guys. I think that inevitably we all can kind of agree with that. When we're working towards something and we're seeing progression, no matter how big or how small, just knowing that progression is happening and knowing that we're working towards something is a very good feel good feeling. So Cancer's career here is looking uh, quite wonderful for you. Coming into your month of October, I think that at the end of the day here, you guys have your eyes set on a prize, you're working towards goals, uh, you know what you're after in your career, and I feel like it's going to be an overall very balanced month. It's going to be a month of equal give and take. Remember, with equal give and take, it's the same thing that applies to the nature of what you put out is what you get back. So Cancers, for those of you that are looking forward to expanding your career, you know, the more that we're going to work hard and play hard, the more that we can represent or it's not represent, but the more that we can manifest in return, you know, those types of of rewards. So, you know, if you put in that hard work, you can reap those rewards. You do reap what you sow. So keep that in mind as well, because if career performance this month might be lower than usual or maybe less um, hardworking than usual, those results could show here as well. So you want to make sure you're still continuing to be on your A game to maximize the best results. Okay, Cancer? All right, guys, moving forward, let's have a look at love. We're going to take a peek here into the single Cancers first. So what do we got going on here for the single crabs coming up here in the month of October. What's going on here for uh, Cancer Singles at this time? Taking a look here at the first card out, what do we got? We got here the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of back and forth right now, or you're not really sure about someone at this time. Taking a look here at the next card, Wheel of Fortune, and looking at the last card here, you got here the uh, Eight of Wands coming out here for you as well. Yeah, Cancer, I think that you're going to start to notice that if you've been feeling unsure about somebody for the Cancer Singles, you may actually decide to say, you know what, I don't know means no. I'm pretty sure I touched base with you guys about the same message last month, if I'm not mistaken, or for one of the September weeklies, but it's the energy of like, if I'm not 100% interested and invested in somebody, I probably shouldn't pursue it. If I really knew that I wanted this person, then sure, but I'm having a tough time wrapping my head around, is this the right person for me? And considering that I'm questioning it so often and so frequent, I think it's time for me to take a step back. So I do think that cancers that are you know single at this time, you could have been talking to somebody. I think you're moving out of that though and giving yourself the opportunity here to communicate with other people and to see what else is out there. So for cancer singles, I think that you guys are going to be acting on connecting with other people and showing interest in other people just because it doesn't really feel like you were vibing with somebody, maybe the way you thought you would have. All right. So I think you might be walking away from someone here and opening yourself up to a different connection. You may actually have that connection in mind, though, Cancer. You may already have your eye on a person you want and the person that you're interested in getting to know. So if that's the case, you're going to start moving in that direction and moving closer towards that specific person instead. All right. Now for Cancer couples, let's see what's going on for you. What do we got here for coupled Cancerians coming up here in the month of October 2023? For coupled Cancers, the Hierophant. Okay, this can represent marriage for some of you. I like it, Cancer. Uh, Hierophant here can be a card of marriage. So if you're getting married here in October, congratulations. I absolutely love that for you and very much so super happy for you. Now, if it's not about marriage, Hierophant here represents devotion. I think that there can be a much more heightened experience of devotion and service to your partner and vice versa because I don't feel like it's just about you servicing your partner and you showing devotion to your partner this month, Cancer. It feels like there is this mutual energy of more 
service to others, service to each other, right? I think that there's a certain level of closeness coming up here for Cancerian partners this month. Yeah, hello, star card, uh, where the two of you are just showing how much you really care about each other, but also how much you're really willing to take care of one another. So the star card showing up here is representing to me a star-crossed lover type of vibe. I think that if you're a Cancer who's in a relationship right now, I think you're with the person that you definitely are looking at a long-lasting connection with. The star card here can be a card that represents fate, but besides that retrospect, the star represents two people aligning with each other that have the same intent, that are looking to grow in their relationship, and that are looking to take things to the next level. I think that for some of you cancers in relationships, if you haven't taken your next step into potentially engagement and marriage, that could be a topic that might come up this month. Uh, some of you cancers may get engaged this month, uh, but this is the energy I think of I love this per I love this person. They love me. Like we really are great at taking care of each other. We're really great at being a team. What can we do to start taking our relationship now to that next level? You know, is it moving in together? Is it getting engaged? Is it starting to maybe open up more about different things and get deeper into the connection than ever before? You know, so it's stuff like that showing up here for the cancers, but world card showing up here for you guys. Oh man, cancer, you're getting lots of alignments here. I really feel like you're with the right person. Cancer couples, I think you're with the one and granted there can be a million versions of the one. I feel like this is going to be a very prosperous, long lasting connection. And I think a lot about this month is going to show you that you're with that right person. I'm hearing like, if I scratch your back, you'll scratch mine. You know, there's a lot of equal give and take in your relationship with this partner. And I think that depending on the things that you guys have been through and depending on how well you work together and help each other is really what's going to show that not only do we love each other so much, but we work together so well and you're the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. So major marriage vibes, or it could be the realization of I want to marry this person, uh, but I feel like you're going deeper in the exploration of your connection. And I think that uh, you and your person are just knowing like... This is it. I think I'm with this person that I want to take things uh, to that very final level with. So I like that, Cancer. That's exciting. All right. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on with Cancer personally, though. Well, what's going to be popping here for Team Cancer on more of a personal level? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What do we got for them on more of a personal level? First card out is going to be the Page of Swords. Looking at the following card, the Six of Cups, and then we also have here the Ten of Swords showing up here for Cancer as well. Yeah, on a personal level, guys, I think you're going to notice like there are certain things coming up that are catching your attention this month. I mentioned immediately with the Five of Cups being the overall energy of today's reading that you're in a space this month in October where it can be a bit of an emotional time in the beginning where a lot of stuff seems to come up for you, but it's about you processing it. It's about you releasing and letting go of the things that have been holding you back for quite some time. And I do see here with the Six of Cups to the Ten of Swords, Cancer, a lot of you guys are choosing to leave things behind and leave things in the past here. As this month progresses in October, it's a massive month here of release. And I think that on a personal note, that's what many of you will experience this month, just a massive release of things that no longer serve you, of things that you no longer want to have a part of your life. And you're choosing to start to put your focus back into the positive things and the positive aspects. You know, you're seeing silver linings happening, Cancer. You know, going back to the main situation, um, it is a time here where a, sil where a silver lining is coming in for you. And I think that being able to put your focus back on the good stuff is going to be a really gratifying feeling for you guys to have. OK. All right, Cancer. And now taking a look here at the overall outcome. Let's see what we got in store for you. What's going to be the overall outcome here for Team Cancer throughout the uh, month of October 2023? What do we got? And we got here actually two cards. We got here a five of pentacles to an ace of swords. Now the five of pentacles can be a card here that represents lack. It could represent the opposite of abundance. It could represent feeling left out in the cold. I think that for many of you cancers, because I discussed this with you previously, you have felt like you've been kind of stuck or trapped in a negative cycle by yourself. But now you start to realize that you know how to break free. Ace of Swords is about breaking free as well. It's a card about representing and understanding and recognizing truth. And it's a card here of now living in your truth and removing yourself from anything that's been keeping you trapped. So I feel like the silver lining for many of you is that you've broke out of the trap. 
you have got out of the mystery box. You have literally set yourself free. And of course, when we're looking at freedom here, we got this eagle showing up, which is quite wonderful as well. Uh, so I like that energy because that's that sense of freedom coming in cancer. It's like, I feel free. I no longer have to be trapped in this uh, negative space that I felt like I was stuck in for quite some time. So cancers, really beautiful reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming out today, everybody, and giving me the time of day here to read for you. It's much appreciated. And if this video helped you out in any sort of way, I'm more than happy if it did. Of course, if you enjoyed, please drop a like and please do drop a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. And also, guys, thank you so much in general for being here. You are all seriously the best. Team Cancer, as always, if you would like a personal reading, you can check out my website. It's going to be the first link in the description below. And if you're new here, do consider subscribing. I'd be more than happy to have you and welcome you here into the Soul Family. Team Cancerian, have a lovely October. Have a happy Halloween. And I will catch you all in the next video. Much love, Cancers. And and have yourselves a good one. Peace.